Hey everybody, yeah, Curious here. Welcome back. Um, so yeah, I slept by accident before hitting the record button, and uh, this is where we're at now. <laughs> Hypothermia, uh, which we've had for like uh, just a few hours, like, uh, I don't know, what, nine hours there so far. And uh, we need to stay warm, but there's a wicked storm going on outside. I mean, like, really cold outside. Watch this. Negative 57 degrees. I don't know how we will survive this. Because um, we got the hypothermia. You know, I think what we need to do is just bite the bullet. Kill as much of this wood as we can in here. We'll get that. 15 minutes. We're going to be cold. We'll probably reset the counter. Let's get something to drink. Thirsty. Here real quick. There we go. Ravenous. Let's have a candy bar. Um, so we'll kill as much of this furniture as we can. Unfortunately, this reclaimed wood doesn't burn that hot. There we go. We're frozen. So we reset the counter, but with it being negative 59 degrees outside, and our house has a bunch of holes in it, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think we could really get this place hot enough. Uh, given the resources that we have. So we're going to try to uh, last as long as we can in the bed. And hopefully the storm passes. We're, we're probably going to take a condition hit. We're already losing condition. So let's just do this. Let's, let's get it going here. I should have probably used wood matches. I would have got a better chance of success. I think it would have been in the, in the 90, somewhere 93, 95, something like that. But oh well. Books are good for... Uh, almost a certain fire starting uh, or I should say fire starting certainty no matter what your level is okay here we go 14 minutes and it's, oh. did we pick up all that wood? where's the wood at? I thought we had no, there it is, reclaimed wood okay, well, aligned we got two hours there hopefully this warms up pretty good Okay, there we go. I'm seeing it creep up here. That's good. That's good for us. 46% condition. That's. We'll sleep for two hours. See where we're at. Hopefully, we're still alive. Man, this is tough. If we die with a fire next to us in a bed inside of a cabin, we just weren't meant to live. So we've got. 42 minutes of fire left, 25 degree bonus. Look at that. Even having the fire isn't enough. But staying in the bed is. So we need to keep doing that. Dishes at 47. So let's. I don't know. We can't do anything as far as fuel goes. I'll just add all these sticks and hopefully the storm passes in the next two hours. Well, let's sleep for two hours, see where we're at. This is going to be tough. Hopefully. Well, let's see how. It's no longer a blizzard. We don't have question marks anymore. Hopefully it's it has cleared up a little bit. Okay, how are we doing? 52% condition. We actually gained some health there. So good. Alright, we're warm. Let's take advantage of that while we can. How much time have we got left here? Six minutes. Can we cook some food here real quick? Some peaches just to get warm. Get some warmth. There we go. Let's try to do this real quick. Just so we get warmth in our body here. Yep, that's fine. I just want to heat these up real quick, and that way we have our, something warming up our core when we go out and try to harvest some more wood. I hope we can do it. I see we're at one. Hopefully we can burn it on the embers. Okay, I think we just made it. And uh, still warm. Good. Where are they? There they are. Let's eat those. We needed the calories anyway. Okay, so we got a bonus going on. We're tired. But... Uh, What's the temperature out here? 16 degrees. Okay, that's doable. That is doable. Let's go get some wood real quick. Let's see how much wood we can gather. Hopefully enough to uh, to survive. Might as well run. Oh, there's a... I think there's a cargo container down there, too. Grab some sticks. Basically, it's free... Free heat for us. 
Now, I did want to, I had a strategy all figured out in my head, and the idea was to go to each cargo cont container and try to loot, loot as much as we could. How are we doing here? We're actually doing pretty good. Let's see if we can bust this down here without freezing to death. Okay, not too bad, really. Not too bad. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, I think what I'll do is now that there's no more wind, we're going to tr go try to grab some more wood real quick here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, if we can find a nice stick to chop up. I don't see any really big ones nearby, but... Yeah, let's, let's head on back. Let's head on back. Let me check something here. 19 hours. Okay, let's just head on back. Oh, we'll come back for this one. Wait, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this. I'm going to try to get a fire going here. Real quick. Got to get it going fast. Can't mess around like I am. Okay, we'll get that going. Let's do that. Do a little bit of that. Some sticks. And some kerosene. That should fire it right up. We want that fire going as fast as we can. Um... I'm going to add one cedar wood, and the idea being that when we chop up this fir wood for 45 minutes, we'll have enough fire to keep us warm. Hopefully we do. Okay. Did it reset the clock? Because we're not really there yet, but it is showing this icon down here. 19 hours. Okay, I think we can reverse it. Hopefully. Maybe not. I don't think we're going to have to reset it, unfortunately. Uh-oh. We're really hurting there. That wasn't worth it at all, I don't think. Oh, there's the fur wood. Okay, it went into my fire. Okay, let's get inside. So we got one cedar and a couple, uh, three fur woods. So we should be able to sleep for a good long while, recover our condition, head back out. Hopefully it's eight degrees. It's really cold out. This is tough. This is really tough. I had really big plans for this character, and uh, so far I'm, I have my doubts. I think we might die in one of the safest places on the map. How tough is that? Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's let's bust up the newsprint here real quick. Tinder plugs, yeah. Make it so. There we go. We're just gonna start hearing our heartbeat oh, here in a second. I anything right now. How hungry is she? Can't be that hungry. Ah, uh, she is kinda hungry. Okay, let's get this fire gun though. That's a priority one. Wow, eleven percent condition. And we failed. There we go. So, see, I had five sticks and still have five sticks. So, okay, no more accelerant. Come on. Come on. Hypothermia, fatigue, numbness, or cold. Over encumbered. Just need to get rest, need to get warm, need to get rest. Five hours. There we go. Looks pretty good. How we doing on heat? 62 degrees. We're reversing it. Looks good. Alright, let's let's um get something to eat here. Do I have any Yeah, let's let's have some pork and beans this time. Wait. No, let's do pinnacle beaches. Since they're in the worst condition. I was planning on doing a series of sorties out to uh, each area where there's cargo containers that I know of. And, and hitting those and trying to find some warmer clothes, but my gosh. I just haven't had any luck in doing that. I'm basically just struggling to survive at the cabin. get a full belly here and then we're gonna sit down and rest for five hours and try to really warm up our bones okay so there we go why am I still ravenous my gosh why is it showing 135 calories did I what did I eat I thought I ate that seems a bit odd 
Am I eating partials or something? I can't, right? Those are full cans. Why am I only getting... Is this a glitch or something? Oh, is it because I'm losing that many by using the... Uh, the knife to open it? That's going to be night by the time we are ready to get up and start grabbing some more wood, unfortunately. Oh, you know what? Because I didn't actually eat them. I'm just heating them up. Okay, that helps. <laughs> My bad. Okay, it's cold open. Uh, I'm going to reheat that real quick. I forgot it was a two-step process. There we go. Okay. Let's eat that. Much better. Okay. And let's eat those. Okay. We're dying from exhaustion, actually. We just lost a percentage. How much? We got four hours. Let's, let's sleep for four, then. There we go. At least we got one hour of daylight. It's starting to get real. 24% condition. Ouch. Alright. Let's get moving out here. Let's grab a torch. Let's head on out here. Let's see what our temperature is out here. Eh, not too hateful. I'm going to need to grab a couple of sticks just to... There's a rabbit. A little rabbit. Need a couple sticks here just to get a fire going for a little bit of the time that we're going to be chopping up this fur limb up here. Basically right where we got the other one at. I kind of want to go down and check out this other area, but I don't know. I'm pretty tired still. Wow. It's because of the hypothermia, that's why. That is tough. That is tough. All right, let's see if we can get another fire going here. I don't have enough. What do I need? Are you kidding me? Uh, I need t probably tinder. Hmm. Can't do anything with that. All right, let's just uh, let's use our torch for the time being. It'll help keep us warm. Let me see. Sort of. How are we doing? Okay. Yeah, we should be able to break this down before we freeze. There we go. And is there a kindling around here or tinder? No. Let's head back inside. I want to need to find a tender. That's the that's gonna be a problem. Starting to freeze again. Oh man, I just don't see an end of the cycle. This is rough. Really, really rough. Wish I had a really good plan to get out of this, but I don't, honestly. Let's get inside here. 36 degrees in here now that I'm inside the hut with the uh, torch. Let's use our torch. Tinder. No tinder. Okay. Do we have any tinder in here at all? Tinder, tinder. Nada. We gotta go. You know what? We gotta bust this up. Alright, how we doing? Okay, we're probably gonna end up freezing again. We gotta bust it up. Oh, we're dead. Well, that was quick. Man, it must have gotten really cold in that cabin. Holy cow. I can't believe I died that fast. Wow, that was really quick. Well, <laughs> let's... I'm not going to... We'll call that one uh, <laughs> uh, the first try for the Iron Woman. I think we deserve to give her another go. So we're going to start the next episode uh, with her. We'll just continue on. Um, let's go ahead and head on back to the menu here. We'll just continue on. This will be the next, last half of episode two. And uh, yeah, I should start on Pilgrim, right? Uh, Stalker. And um, this will be the next half of episode two. I'll probably make this one 45 minutes long just so we give this start up a fair shot. Wow, that was 
That is a humbling experience right there. I don't know what I could have done different. Alright, please, please let me start during the daylight. Please. Please, 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 please. Please. Daylight. Oh, that doesn't sound good. It sounds windy. Okay, it's daylight. What's the, what's the temperature out? What's the temperature? Negative 8 degrees. Alright, I'll take it. I don't care. I ain't picky. Um... Hmm. Not sure where I'm at. Let's see if we can get some high ground and figure out where we're at here real quick. Okay. Um, that should be the plane crash up there. Can't grab that because I don't have a hatchet. Okay, we're at the waterfall. Hmm. I, th I th Oh, there's the bear. I think there's actually a good place to rope up here. We might be able to summit real quick here. This... Wait a minute, no, 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 that leads down to the lake, okay, I know where I'm at now. Actually, we're gonna go back around this way. So this is the way you would head if you wanted to go towards Pleasant Valley. Um, but we're gonna try to avoid all that. Man, hypothermia, no, I think the key in this series is unless you have lots of wood stockpiled, you need to avoid hypothermia at all costs. And that wolf is chasing something. Oh, they're fighting over a rabbit that one just got. Wow. Yeah, I'm already half chilled. Okay, so I'm going to go the back way this time. There's just another stick. We're going to need these. I think if we go this way, there's going to be some wreckage right over here in the next, like, valley. Over. I think we're sort of on the edge of the map right now. Okay. And now I think the cabin's over that way. Oh, there's a, there's a landing gear. Okay. And I think that's the way to Pleasant Valley over that way, I think. Now, I'm not going to be able to do anything with these containers because I don't have a hacksaw. Well, I don't think I have a hacksaw. I'm pretty sure you don't start with a hacksaw. Okay, no. So unless they supply me one here. Oh, here we go. Here's the lake. Alright, here's the lake. Luckily, we're going to have that stockpile of wood. I, I haven't been in the cabin where I haven't had the stockpile of wood. And I think I know where to find the, uh... I think I know where to find the, uh... Hatchets now. If they're... If they, uh, spawn at the cabin, I think I know the, the two places. Oh, my gosh, I'm already freezing and... I am so scared of hypothermia now. I don't, I'm thinking back to the last death, and I have no idea how I could have really, um, avoided that. I know we're going to get some, uh, we're going to get some, uh, food once we get to the cabin, but that's always good, carrying around food. It's pretty lightweight. It never goes bad. Uh-oh, is that, that's a wolf. I really don't want to fight him right now. Good. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't want to fight me right now either. Alright, cabin. Hatchet. See a hatchet. Let's get inside and get warmed up. Check these boats here real quick. Clothing. Clothing would be alright. Not see anything there. See any fishing line or anything like that? I'm not seeing anything. Let's get inside. It's like an endl endless adventure of pickup sticks. Alright. Shut the door. Come on. 
Well, I got a down vest. That sounds somewhat decent. It's in pretty bad condition, though. Doesn't really give me much warmth at all. Alright, let's get this fire started. Take that tender. Alright, let's do that. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Don't know. Don't have any uh, accelerant. Wow, seven percent gone, and I started in a really, really nice spot with uh, clear conditions, albeit a bit cold. Oh man! Now I'm starting to think that the Iron Man uh, series was just pure luck that I survived through that whole thing. Um. How are we doing here? Should warm up. A little bit winded. So let's get something to eat here. Whetstone. Don't need that yet. Well, I don't know. Maybe my hatchet needs sharpening. It's hard to say. I've already read that. Prepared for anything. So if you want to pause it and read it, go right ahead. Uh, there's the hacksaw right there. I think once we uh, warm up, we'll head on over to the containers and see what we if we can score some clothing. I think that's going to be important. Uh, rifle cleaning kit, okay. Good deal. We can always break up these uh, if we need them. You know what, might as well do it while it's warm, because I died because I, I tried to do it while it was cold, so might as well do this while it's warm. You know what I mean? 92% condition. We'll just leave that on the floor. Fifty-four percent condition on the hatchet. Let's check out our fire embers. Let's throw another one on the fire here. Let's do the fir wood. There we go. Because the other one's easier to light. Alright, let's see if we can go gather some wood now that we're warmed up. Even though it is wicked cold outside. I got some wood out here. Hopefully so. I want to tear that dock up is what I want to do. I want to burn the dock. We got here. This is something here. Is this a branch? No, it's a cedar one. All right. It's the temperature out here. Negative four. Let's do it. Jeez, cold again. All right, let's head back inside. Warm up real quick. Throw another. There we go. Thirty-four minutes. Okay. Oh yeah, let's check in here. Thin wool sweater, yeah, well. Wish I checked in there before it ran outside. I think that's better than what I'm wearing, I think. We'll check and find out. 71 degrees in here, we'll take it. That's not too bad. Okay, we got this, yeah, it's much better. The quality's better. Right, yeah, okay. So, that's pretty good. Let's drop the wood that we have here. We'll keep one piece for uh, starting a fire out there where it's cold. We'll bust these up into tinder plugs. This is like going back to Survival Basics 101 is what it is. And everything you took, I took for granted in like Mystery Lake and things like that just really are so much so important now. Alright, let's throw on a few sticks. Alright, so that should hold us while we go out and gather some more wood here. We're still slightly chilled, but we need to get the wood. We need it. Just to make it through the night. We got here cedar. Cedar, okay. Neither one's fine. I'm worried about hypothermia again. Wait, is that all the food that we got out of there? Oh wow, that's not a whole lot. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to need to find a container with some food also. Yep. Okay, so we're warming up. Um, three hours of daylight. I kind of want to max out my warmth. We're going to need to get some water anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. 20 minutes left. Let's add one of these. Got like a bunch on the floor too, so that's good. But let's just get enough to get some water melted here for the night. Probably want to do about another 0.2 gallons actually. I'm going to do it with warmth. Pretty good. Alright, let's go chop some more wood real quick and come back in. Wait, I think, how much time do we have left on fire? I think we have enough time, don't we? 45 minutes. Ooh, this is going to last. Um, yeah, let's throw another one on. There we go. Fourteen degrees, really not too hateful. Alright, let's get back inside. Whoa, that is some hard wind. Even though it's 61 degrees over here, 65, must be getting some uh, radiant heat from the. Uh, I thought I saw something on the ground, did I? No. Okay. How much wood do we got? We got five cedars. We'll go through that so fast, though. That's the thing. It's so deceptive. I'm gonna pick up all the wood just to take stock and see how much we got. I think I think it's about seven or eight, maybe a seven. I'm guessing seven, eight. Okay. All right, how are we doing on warmth? Pretty good. Let's go ahead and boil up the water that we uh, have made already. Might go out one more time to get some more wood and then call it quits for the night. Because the weather's really not too bad out there. At least it didn't seem that bad. It seemed kind of windy, but... Alright, let's go ahead and add an hour's worth there. And let's drop what we don't need to be carrying around here. Is there more wood over here or no, I don't think so. At least not in the immediate vicinity there. Let's get a drink here real quick. There we go. How cold is it? Negative four. Okay, this this will be cold. Five minutes, three fir woods. Probably gonna be cold, but yep. All right, let's head back in, and we got enough to make it through the night safely. So we got the hacksaw. We're gonna need to start going after containers tomorrow. And as long, oh God, I really hope I don't get hypothermia right now. Okay. There we go. Made it in. Made it inside. All right. Wow. Warm up, please. Warm oh, up, please. I hate a horse. Okay, let's go ahead and grant her her wish. Get these. All right, use the hatchet. Let's get her some hot beans here. Actually, you know what? I should probably save those before I go out again. Hmm. Don't know. I'm just gonna eat them. I wonder if you can. I don't think you can heat up the dog food. Otherwise, it would have popped up on the screen. But, uh, all right. Thirty-two minutes. How much time we got? Ten hours of darkness left. All right, let's throw on some fur woods here. How many do I have? One, two, three. There we go. Some cedar. One, two, three. Should get us through the night. That should do it. Okay, good. Yeah, we have a couple pieces left over. Uh, let's go ahead and just boil up some water since uh, yeah, we'll have plenty of time to sleep. Let's do a 
a good uh, good amount of water here, so we don't die of <laughs> dehydration. All right, soon I'm gonna faint. All right, let's boil it up here. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna put it right here on the floor so that I know that I have it. And if I put it in the hatch, I probably will forget about it. So let's drop about half of that. Yeah, we'll drop a little more than that. There we go. That's plenty to make it through the night. We've got seven hours, eight hours of darkness left. Right, let's throw one more piece of wood on. There we go. Okay, let's rest for eight hours. Let's double check it. I guess we could eat something. Let's get some food in our belly here. Alright, I hope that the weather's good in the morning, because we need to go and hit some containers if possible. There we go. You need all the calories you can, might as well just eat, do it now. At least we have a lot of cattails around the lake. Okay. Eight hours, seven hours. Okay, good. Let's rest for eight. Our condition should go up, back up to 100% hopefully. Hundred percent condition. We're a little thirsty, but hey, we're in good shape for that. So let's do that. We gotta get out there and we gotta start finding ways to improve our condition. We can't get into that deadly cycle of trying to collect wood fast enough to live. It just doesn't work. Let's grab a torch out of here. That way we have something to keep us a little bit extra warm. And let's get moving. Alright. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go this way first, because I know that there's the uh I know the plane's over here, the wing, it's got two containers and all that, so let's head over here. Yep, I see the I see the wolf. Alright, so let's try to Oh, it looks like he just killed that deer, which actually would be a lot of calories for us. But uh, I'd rather have a knife to uh, take care of that problem. And then there's the uh, fuselage up there. Right up in the mountains. I'd really like to get up there, but there's another wolf over there patrolling. How are we doing? Negative eight degrees. Wow, it's so cold. I'm gonna grab some rose hips just so I can make a hot tea. There we go. Grab a couple of these cattails too, just to for basic sustenance. I mean, I know we have about 2,000, a little less than 2,000 calories on board, but <clears throat> we'll go. Oh, jeez, are you kidding me? I don't want to have to tangle with you, brother. I'm just going to go up this way, okay? Okay. Do I have any pain kit, uh, pain meds at all? No, I don't. Okay. Well, it's kind of funny because these cargo containers, on the one hand I want it to be clothing, on the other hand I want it to be food, on the other hand I want it to be medicine. Um, we do have antiseptic, I do believe I just saw that right. Yes, okay, so we're not going to have to worry about that. Let's just keep grabbing sticks as we can. There's the bear, a bear. I don't know how many bears there are on this map, but... Oh, son of a gun. Oh. Why did he have to do that? I should be more cautious when I'm trying to pick up these sticks and holding this torch. Negative 7 degrees with this torch in my hand. That's nuts. Alright, so I think the wreckage is down here somewhere. Yeah, okay, I think it's over here. One of the wreckage. Okay, then there's some birch bark I'm going to pick up there. Here we go, okay. Free tinder. 
Now, there's a there's a deer out here. I kind of want to skin these, but man, I just don't. I really don't want to catch hypothermia again. Let's see if we can make it over here to the to, to the plane. I'm starting to get numb already. Um, I might skin a deer and try to grab the leather from it if I can build a fire to keep me warm. Which might actually be a good idea because I think if I do that, I can fight. Son of a gun, stop doing that. I can fight off this hypothermia. Let me check and see what these boxes have first. But if I can start a fire next to that deer and, and while I carve it up, that'll be sort of a, a bonus. Plus, I could break this crate up if I really wanted to. Come on, come on, come on. Give me some good stuff. Food, take it. We're running low. Now, I think the one that I least want would be the uh, soda pop container. Yeah, <laughs> this happens to be the re refreshment cargo. Okay, thanks a lot there. Thanks, Hinterland. Thank you. Clothing. I'll take it. Medicine, painkillers, bandages. Got to be some antiseptic. There it is. Okay, we'll take that. Jeez, oh, this is not the one I really wanted. I can take some more flares, though. You feel free to give me all the flares you want. Man, I'm not sure okay. I can carry much more. Okay. Take 30 minutes to break that down. Give me four reclaimed woods. Ugh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm just trying to try to, try to go with what the, the sticks that I have, and I just want to peel the. I just want to get the uh, hide off of this if I can. How, about, how long is it going to take? 45 minutes. We can do that. Let's do this. Let's, let's start a little fire here. Hopefully, it'll be warm for us. Let's use our torch. Mark. We've got nine of those. Okay. We should have enough time to uh, warm back up a little bit, too. We might be, might be able to even cook up a little food. That might be a good idea to do just right now, actually, before I do anything else, to get that jump, get that bonus. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cook up a little bit of food here. Real quick, just some peaches or something. Where I heard. There we go. Let's cook up some food. Fine. Whatever. Yep. There we go. Okay. What's our temperature at? 16 degrees. So we're not really that warm. Actually, we're still we're still getting cold. Uh, peaches, hot open. Let's let's eat those. See if we can get rid of that. Well, it helped a little bit. We'll take it. Let's get the hide off of here. I need deerskin boots. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, good deal. Nine minutes of campfire left. Let's get moving. Back to freezing. What is it? Negative 19 out here. Jeez. Oh, are you kidding? I thought he was going to pinball off of that tree and come right back at me. Oh well. I'm glad he didn't. Alright, let's get moving back to base camp here. Flare should warm me up a little bit. I think it took about 9 degrees off. Cold, but I'm a little worried about hypothermia again. I'm starting to get fatigued because I just became encumbered. Yeah, okay.
There's a bear, shoot. I remember when I was once desperate to find a bear. Not anymore. Come on, get back to the cabin. That is a lot of sticks. I gotta get it. I'm not gonna pull that bear. He's, they don't, they're not that sensitive. Even if I do, he'll just lumber along and follow me slowly. Couldn't pass it up. Couldn't pass those sticks up. That was a lot of sticks. It's about a good hour's worth of uh, wood right there. It's almost like it's like finding a cedar piece of cedar wood right there. Where's that dog at? I heard the wolf. Alright, we got some energy. Get back to running here. Oh, that's a branch. Never mind. That's a branch too. Let's just get inside. Shut the door. 27 degrees with that flare. That looks pretty good. Let's use our flare to start this up. Let's get it going. I can't believe I have a 72% 72, 72 chance of starting a fire with a flare. How hard can that be? Oh man. Wow, what a disastrous episode. I feel like I'm just spinning tires here. Well, I should it shouldn't be that negative. We did get the medicines, we got a lot of food. I mean, other than dying with our original character. Uh, in the second character, we got uh, medicines, we got a lot of food, and we got some drinks, so it is what it is. All right, so let's just throw that down. Feels like it's 32 in here. That's it? Oh my gosh. We gotta warm this place up. There we go, that's better. Let's, uh, let's cook up some food here. I never thought that I would die trying to break down a wooden shelf, but somehow I managed to do that. Someone left in the comments in the last episode. One thing I like about you is you always find new and creative ways to die. <laughs> well, that's true, and there's death number whatever, 57. Uh, death by, uh... Okay, we're just gonna need to relax here for a bit. Pass a little bit of time, so we might as well just cook up a little bit of water while we wait. Well, you know what? We could use a little bit of a rest, so let's rest for an hour. It'll allow our condition to go up a little bit. Plus the warmth, the extra warmth from the bed will actually help us warm up faster. Okay, there we go. Completely warm. 45 minutes. I'm going to throw one of these on there so I can go out and get more wood. There we go. Throw that in there, I guess. Not that it really matters. Old torch. Okay. Oh man, it is nasty outside. Is this a piece of wood now? A couple sticks, though. Yeah, I'm getting a little close to that wolf. You know what, I am over encumbered, I forgot about that. Needed to drop a lot of that stuff, but while we're out here, since we're already out here, let's go ahead and chop up this uh, branch. There we go, getting cold again. Man. It's like, is it worth it to start a fire out here, like, next to where you're cutting wood? Because it doesn't really even... You only get like 14 degrees out of it. I mean, it's not much. And then you end up using a whole log. And then you only get two... 
two extra in return. Whereas now I got three logs, but I am chilled. I'm afraid that hypothermia will set in. I don't know how the game can decides when you're going to get hypothermia versus not get hypothermia, but... Eight hours daylight left. Um, so I'm thinking is we'll add a couple of fuel, warm up again, then we're going to... We're pretty drained. We need to we need to rest. So we're gonna need to rest for a few hours, and then we'll head on over to the other containers, if possible. Oh, you know what? We're gonna go for the cave. That's what we should do. Yeah, I know where there's a cave. I just need to rest. So okay, we'll keep that one. Keep those two. There we go. That should be enough calories for the trip. Oh, hold on. What else can we get rid of? Let's see here. Let's go through this. Okay, we don't need two of those. We don't need 24 pain meds. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's take 10. There we go. Don't need 30 antibiotics. I mean, I have some sketchy food, but come on now. You take them in, uh, two pills at a time, so we might as well keep them even. Um, we'll carry all this... No, we don't need to carry that wood with us. Okay, what else can we... Hold on. What else can we get rid of? So we did that, that. We want to keep all of our clothing, except for that crappy shirt. Get rid of that. Um, you know what? We're going to tear that... Sh Oops, hold on. We're going to tear that shirt up into some cloth. Here, real quick. I'm going to put that sweater back on. I just... I took something off. Hold on. There they are. Okay, we're going to tear this up into some cloth so we can repair our down vest. Let me get closer to the fire. Yeah, we'll do that. Actions. Harvest. Nope, harvest. Okay, so I'm going to head up to the cave. There's one rope just above the falls, kind of where I started. There's a rope there. I'm gonna head up there and there should be a cave near the engine. I'm gonna go for that. Um, I'm gonna take some water with me and uh, I'm gonna take my hatchet. That's gonna be basically what I need. I don't need any flares either. I'll take about I'll take about four flares. That's good. We're gonna hit we don't worry, we will repair that. Like I said I was going to. There we go, four flares. Mountain rope, I don't need that much lantern fuel. How much fuel is in that thing? It's hard to tell from here. Mm, don't need a broken arrow or an arrow at this point. Really don't need a fishing tackle. Ounces equals pounds. Undo haste makes waste. Right? <laughs> I had that little bit of uh, nugget of wisdom put into my head. Uh, fresh deer hide. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's throw that on the floor. Definitely, definitely want to get that curing. Oh, we got two of those. Okay, that's good. Ten... It looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. What are we carrying around? What's our total weight? 51 pounds. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so we're going to go for the cave. And there should be another cargo box up in that area too, near the engine, I think. Um, but we need to rest in the meantime. So, 12 minutes of fire left. We've got a couple wood here, so let's get it on there. Get about three hours. Of, oh, hold on. You know what? Let's let's burn up all the reclaimed wood. Oops. There we go. Let's burn that up. All right. Six hours of daylight left. We're probably gonna be traveling just at the start of nightfall. But we need to basically head up that way. How's our fire doing? What's the temperature at? 117 degrees. Just putting out. We're a little hungry, a little thirsty. Let's get some drink here. Okay. Let's rest for six. I want to get as well rested as possible and uh, hopefully 
get our condition up as high as possible too. 30 minutes left on the fire. We're gonna take a torch. We're a little hungry, so let's go ahead and uh, let's take the torch. No, let's cook and then take the torch. That way we have something warm in our stomachs. That's why I threw that reclaimed wood in there is because I needed the extra time for cooking if I want to grab a torch as well. Okay. Let's eat this. And then we shall get ourselves another drink. And we are ready to move. We're in pretty good shape. We should be able to go up one rope, I think. 6% cured, okay. Take one water bottle with me. 46 pounds, really not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, oh wait, I wanted to grab a torch. Okay. Let's head for a cave. Did I check the ice fishing hut yet? I don't think I have. Okay, we're gonna do that before we head up there. Maybe we'll get lucky, find a knife or something. I think the way we go is right back around there anyway. Is that the bear again? Man, he just like lives over on that side of the lake, doesn't he? Got a wolf over here, got a bear over here, and somewhere up in there is gonna be our salvation, hopefully. temperature out here. Five degrees, eh, it's not not hateful. I think we're doing everything we can to keep our body temperature up, so, aha, knife. Hey, I'll take the reclaimed wood, too. Come on, give me some clothing. I don't think canister does. Sure. Can't hurt, right? We got some tomato soup. That'll help warm me up, too. Anything under the pot belly stove or around the side of it? Nope. Okay. Let's get moving. Where'd bear go? Alright, I think I basically want to go this way. Hopefully there's not a bear lurking around the corner. Otherwise you're going to see me run like... you've never seen before back to that fishing hut. And then I'll probably be trapped in there and I'll probably die. A little worried about where that bear went. Oh, oh I thought that was the bear. It was a stump with some mushrooms on it. Okay, I think I need to go. I can go that way? I can't remember. Okay, I'm going this way. I'm going to go this way. I guess it's, it's better to go the way that I'm certain of. Maybe this is the right way. Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, that's a stick. Okay, now don't go f brandishing the uh, torch, waving it around like a madman. Or in this case, madwoman. Okay, I don't think this is really the way that I want to go, but it'll be alright as long as we get to the to one of the two ropes that are over here. Okay, yeah, we're just we're gonna head up the old the old route that I'm used to taking. Um, um the, the thing I don't like about this route is it seems like there's some wolves on it sometimes. So I want to try to. Oh no, we want to save our we want to save our energy for the rope climb. So there's the rope there that we can go up. Um, I think we'll just go for that. We have flares if we need to. The bad thing is if I have to use one at the bottom, I'll drop it. I think when I climb, I don't think you can carry it to the top with you. Like, tuck it into a pouch or anything. So. It, the coast looks okay. Looks like the coast is clear. But Alright, well. How are we doing? We're actually doing pretty good with our 
are cold. It's not bad at all. I guess what really throws me off is that when you start chopping wood, it time lapses. So it seems like you're barely outside and you're immediately freezing again. So whenever I'm chopping wood, I get this uh, a misconstrued uh, perception of time. If I do that too long, I start thinking, wow, I, can, I can't even leave the cabin at all to do anything. I think the rope's up here, isn't it? Oh, no, they, we just made it through the, the tunnel. This isn't even the spot. We still got a little ways to go here. There's a wolf I was worried about. Gotta let him pass. What did he run off for? What was he scared of? Couldn't have been me. Is there probably a bear lurking around? Is that what it is? Oh yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Well, that actually was... That was actually kind of helpful. He hasn't pinged me. He's just... He's just uh, out walking around. He just happened to turn towards me at that moment. Yeah, he's still. Yeah, he's just hanging out. Okay. That actually worked out pretty good. It's starting to get a little cold, but I think we'll make it to the cave in time. What the heck? Is that? The, uh, he's running from the. He's running from the bear again, isn't he? That's why he yelped thought he was coming at me but when they come at you they'll uh they'll growl but they won't yelp so he was scared off is what that was not in not in attack mode in retreat mode more so what guess what i'm trying to say all right let's just go up this rope and be done with it now there's gonna be a, a cave over there to the right which is actually on the way to summit so we might just head for summit man we got a hatchet we're in decent shape I say, you know, no time like the present. Unfortunately, I had to drop the torch, but if we get up here and there's a wolf, I'll just I'll just flare him. Or maybe I'll just sick another bear on him. I don't know. Oh god. The, the red the red popsicles of death. Blood popsicles. I can, now once I came up here, I think it was in my my long, like the 50 second episode of my longest series, I think uh, I came up here and there was a wolf just like right here. So I had to immediately retreat back down the rope. I gotta go up this way a little ways. Alright, now that we're up here, we can run a little bit. Yeah, there's a wolf. I'll probably pull him. Yep, I sure did. Oh, are you gonna fight me? Major bruising, major bruising. Okay, well. Is there another one? How many? There's two, wasn't there? Okay, so we got major bruising. Probably had some damage to my clothing. But I don't, I don't have any bleeding or anything that I need to take care of. No affliction. What the heck? Oh, he's killing rabbits. What a violent world. Okay, I think there's, there's a cave up here somewhere. Is it up here? Here it is. Let's get to it. Give me a stick. Because I'm going to need a fire when I get in here. Where'd my cave go? There it is. Alright, get away from me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm looking out the cave here. See if he's still looking at... Uh, which way do I go? I think I go this way. No, 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 no. no. Let's go deeper into the cave. Okay, wow. Alright, so what's the temp in here? 36 degrees, good deal. What if I throw this down? What's the temp? 
31. Well, if we have put out our bedroll, we'll be all right. Let's uh, just put out our bedroll. Well, actually, let's start a fire. Take the edge off. Okay. Where can I start a fire at? Right there? Okay, fine. Wherever you want me to start a fire at, okay? There we go. There we go. Oh, you know what? I should have used a flare. Pfft. Just reach out with your left hand, grab that flare, rotate it 180 degrees, and then move it under the fire. That's all I need to do. Can I stop this? I wonder if it cost me my fire. My I wonder if that actually cost me my match or not. I don't know. There we go. Wow, the wolves were thick up here, weren't they? At night time. Well, we're in a safer spot now. We're in caves. Now, someone said in the comments that there is a cave that has Fluffy. Now, I was talking about how that would just freak me the heck out. Uh, I'd be so scared. That would... <laughs> that would just be really creepy. Alright, so let's head over here. Let's get our bedroll out. There we go. Plenty of, plenty of uh, warmth coming up here. We need to drink. Nope, we're good. Alright. Really tired. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, should be able to sleep for 8 hours. Like, seriously, with the bedroll, 7.4 degree Fahrenheit bonus, bonus, we shouldn't have a problem with that. Alright, so... We should live. If not, I probably need to quit trying to play tonight. It's not the best way to bring in the new year. If I die in my sleep here. I hope I wake up and I want my conditions up around. Oh, that's nice. A little bit thirsty. Just starting just starting to get a little thirsty. 87% condition. We're in a dark spooky cave. But we have a luminescent blender that we can use to explore. So, all right, is this the way out or the way in? Jeez, oh, I can't tell. I think we go this way. It was downhill, right? So let's head on down here, see what we can find in the cave. Real quick, sometimes there's some good stuff in here. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this path. Make sure my, my uh, condition wasn't that bad. Kind of makes me want to go out there during the daylight and try to find the body of that wolf and skin him because we need to hide. Of course, if we if we summit like I'm planning on doing, then uh, we're gonna save all this stuff here. We're gonna save this coal, save all this stuff. What we got here? Candy bar. What else you got for me, buddy? Rifle round. I'll Dog take food. It. We'll take it. A little bit of pain meds down there. How many we got? Hmm. Okay. Some more coal. All right, let's continue on. We'll pop our heads out, save the game, and we'll call that an episode. I wanted to give you guys a little extra episode here because I uh, sort of bollocksed my first attempt at it. Why is it so? Jerky. It's weird. I don't know what the deal is there. Apologize for that. So I'm gonna put this out since this is a fir wood that I can. Wow, we're gonna have to be careful with that hatchet. Let's, let's watch it. See if it goes down eight percent. Is that twenty nine percent? We're gonna need to sharpen that up in the next episode. But uh, we should be warm enough. Oh, it's thirty one. Yeah. I think it's worth it though only one degree we really shouldn't even notice it well two degrees I guess okay let's bust out our lantern you don't want to do a time lapse while you're holding your lantern you'll lose all your fuel okay there we go how we doing yeah barely now to see the, the lanterns actually warming us back up so we're starting to get hungry again nothing to 116 calories nothing too critical at this point I'm not sure why it's <laughs> Why it's starting to get a little jerky here. It normally runs real smooth. I wonder if there's some sort of background process going on that I am unaware of. It's quite possible. 
feels weird that this is the way you go to get to the summit because you're going down rather than going up. Let's see if we can find anything else here. Worthwhile. Anything else that doesn't have teeth? Ah, piece of coal. Thank you. April uh, Moen, aka Willow West, is a huge fan of the coal. That, that is really, really messing with me. That's annoying me. I'm sure it's annoying you guys. Luckily, the episode's about over. Okay, there's the exit to the cave. Let's just check over here real quick before we leave. Just make sure we're not missing anything. I think this is the one that does a circle, isn't it? Yeah, sort of a circle. Right there. Alright, everybody. Well, I'm going to start my little spiel here at the end. Uh, really appreciate your guys' support. Um, you're really helping out the channel with all the likes and everything. And uh, it's amazing when I... Uh, like, I sent an email to the producers, the Parable, the producers of Kona. And uh, basically, I sent them a link to the uh, fourth episode of the Long Dark series here. Because um, you guys had, like... <laughs> It was like a four to one ratio of likes to dislikes, and um, or not, I shouldn't say likes to dislikes, uh, likes to views. Um, it was like 256 likes and zero dislikes. So I sent that to him as an example of uh, you know if I could get early access key for Kona, bring that to you guys, um, and uh, just said hey this is this is sort of like my style of gameplay. I think it would be a good match for Kona. So if you guys want to email Parable, I'll put their. Uh, um, I'll put their link in the description below, and uh, just send them an email, tell them you'd like to see see me do the game. Um, or actually, I should I should put the Twitter thing down because I think the email is just for actual members of the press or you know publicists and things like that. But um, yeah, I'll put the Twitter uh, link down there. So send them a Twitter thing saying, "Hey, I want to see Accurize uh, play the game," something like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So y'all take care and. Uh, well, at least we didn't die again. We only died once this time. See you next time.